It really is an unusual story. Biomarine focuses on the neglected diseases, the rare diseases that the big farmers don't want to touch. We're developing treatments for children. We're doing things that I think have a huge impact in the world. I was diagnosed at the age of four. They told my parents that I wasn't going to live past the age of ten. It's just incredible so much has changed for the better. I think we've just brought an option where there were no options. Without our marine, this patients would have absolutely no hope. There is nothing more motivating than that. How far back do you want me to start? <laughs> I started January of 2000, right after the holidays. I got here uh, May 9th, 2000. When we joined, he had hair, <laughs> and my hair was brown. <laughs> I was walking in, there was a department of one at that point in time, that was me. We worked in a place called the Pink Palace. The Pink Palace was where they made Negozyme first. We literally were manufacturing the product in what was the administration building of the company at the time. It was a little bit crazy from what I heard. We broke the elevator several times. It just was a really exciting place to be. Biomarin said, we've got the perfect study for you. <laughs> oh good, I sort of shook my head. I was pretty busy already. <laughs> We brought six families to Oakland. Some of the patients coming from all around the world. A few of those kids, they were from another country. It was like, I can't really speak French. <laughs> I mean, nothing in life is a sure thing, and we hoped for the best. My family came in 2003 for the treatment. They left everything in my mom because it was going to save my life. You're only going to get one shot at a clinical trial in these patients. So it was a real sense of urgency, not only for the patients, but for the company as well. This was the only option. This had to work. You know if this doesn't get approved, it's going to be a, a real crisis. It allowed us to kind of prove to the world that we could take a product from start to finish and get it approved. Awesome. <laughs> this drug does something for patients. It's doing something that's changing their life. This was ours. It was our accomplishment. There was a lot of uncertainty, even though we were on the verge of a tremendous product success. We were close to not making payroll. Didn't have a CEO at the time. Most of my friends tell me, what are you doing? You're nuts to join this company. You're going to waste your time. And I say, no, I don't agree. There was a the potential to turn around the company. JJ made the call. He stepped in and said, you know what? Two thirds of our patients in general are outside the US. We just hadn't done that kind of global outreach. This is what we spent our whole career you know, building up to. Now it's game time. We built our worldwide infrastructure. We'll go out into Russia, China, India, Eastern Europe, Latin America, all of those places if there were patients and physicians that wanted our drugs. It's funny how fast you can forget, like, where you were at. Like, whoa. <laughs> I mean, before I was on the medicine, I really couldn't walk by myself. I had a walker and it's in the garage. Now I don't need it anymore. For my first quarter as a college student, I took six classes. My friends tell me all the time. She's like, you took six? I'm like, yeah, I took six. To know that you can help the patients and, and the parents get through this disease is fantastic. BioMarin continues to grow. We're not afraid to explore a completely new area, a completely new disease. Yes, they are a pharmaceutical company, but at the same time, they're just a lot more than that. I got the opportunity to actually tour where they make the medicine, they go inside. You had to be very sterile so you looked like a doctor. <laughs> it's because of you guys that I am able to write books, to have a job without Biomarin. I wouldn't be where I am today.